Hello, in this video I'm going to show you how to use a horizontal progress bar. You're going to prompt the user to input a number between 0 and 100 and then you can display that value on your progress bar. So for instance, let's say they input the number 59. They click OK and then BAM! 59% of the bar is filled with color. Let's say you want to go down to 25% or 25 out of 100 there you go we can change how big the bar is we can change what the value of the maximum is to maybe 50 or to 10 or even 2 we can change all kinds of things so let's say we're 84 BAM so you can see the general idea of what we're doing here now let's get into the important part which is the code let's check out our layout file which is under the layout folder under resource but under app I find it easier to make the layout first because then you know what you you're looking at and what values to define in your Java class. So I am using a relative layout. Basically you went into the design tab and dragged all the types of stuff I need. And so now I have dragged on here edit text, button, and progress bar. We will need all three of these. Let's go through each one. Edit text is this middle box here, which is where the user inputs a value. And you can see we have set the ID to number input. We gave them a hint of choose value between 0 and 100. And then also we have an input type, which is number. Basically what that does is when the user clicks on this input box, it brings up a number pad instead of the keyboard. Pretty useful. Next we have our button, which is the very bottom element. We set the ID of that to submit button and the text to button which we probably should change to submit real quick there we go and then finally we have our important part which is the progress bar and we set the ID of the progress bar to progress bar pretty convenient so we're all done here and let's head on over to our main activity which is under our package name under the Java and under app pretty short and simple we're going to declare and define our progress bar as the progress bar that we have in our layout file right there and we're going to do the same thing with our edit text and button with the button we're going to create an on click listener so basically the app is listening for a click of the button and in the case that it does get a click so in this line here we're going to set the progress of the progress bar we could just set it to number input dot get text dot to string but we're actually looking for a number like int not a string so after we get the text and put that to a string we're gonna have to parse that to an integer and then we can use that for our set progress just like we do right here so there you go hopefully you learned a lot in this video if you have any questions something didn't work for you whatever feel free to contact me in the comments below or on my website or at my email whatever works for you thank you and i'll see you in the next video